good morning, good evening, good afternoon, you guys. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Um, I got to use another camera today, only because I told you I'm getting carpet in the house. And so the office has carpet in it, but now my bedroom is going to get carpet in it. So they had to move everything from my bedroom into the office so you know you'd be looking at a whole junk pile look like i'm a hoarder but it, i am not <laughs> so i'm doing it here on my laptop uh yeah you know what um let me just say this so last night was the last day of our class and everyone was fantastic and what they had to do with the people who took this is the beginning to row class they actually had to go out in their groups. They had groups that they belonged to. And so they would go out into these breakout rooms. So they each group would come by themselves. So we would bring a group back in. Then the group had to do a final reading. And they had to choose if they wanted to read on me or if they wanted to read on Camille. Mostly everybody wanted to read on Camille, which is fine. And um, she had one question that she asked each group. Now, each group didn't know what the question she was going to ask. Each group did not know there was only one question. The reason why there was one question is we wanted to see was there continuity in their in their answers all the way through. And do you know that um, they all answered the, in the same way, in the affirmative on a particular question that she had for them. It was fantastic. Even the people that were a little more, you know, shy or, you know, not quite as confident still read beautifully. Uh, I am so proud of them. Um, if you guys are watching this, please know that I am so proud of you. Um, so that was fantastic. That was last night. So that's the end of the beginning to row. On the 12th of September, I told you we're starting a new class. Um, it's an advanced tarot. It's what I call it. But really, it's a tarot enhancement so that you really, really just own the fact that you know the, the cards. You really know what the cards are really talking about. It, and then when we do the class, it's not just the basic learning how to row. There's so much more about uh, your spiritual growth and about your own to intuition growth that they take part in as well or they do tapping it just is full of great things but if you're interested in the tarot enhancement class and that's what i'm calling a tarot enhancement class please uh put a yes in your email send an email to us and we will get the information back to you um anyways uh so did you hear that matt gates got married cute isn't it Congratulations, Mr. Gates. Now, some people are saying it's because uh, his wife can't testify against him, but she could. She could actually, depending on the circumstances, she could testify against him because she would have information prior to the wedding. I don't think that's the reason. I think that they are closing in on him, and the only way to get him to actually, uh, actually speak or whatever is put the pressure on him on him and for him to kind of give this appearance of gosh I would never mess with young girls I wouldn't do that only because you see I've got a whole wife so yeah they're always full of shenanigans Tuesday Andrea comes back she had some family issues the last time so this time she really is coming back and I can't wait I just enjoy her so that'll be Tuesday it'll be 7 p.m. Um, Eastern time. That's our time because she and I both are on the Eastern time. I'm here in the States and she's in Canada. So that'll be fun. Um, so make sure you're there for that. That'll be live. And then Thursday, I'll have another live. I have an astrologer coming who reached out to me. Um, not the astrologer, so an in-between person reached out to me to get go check her out. Go get in touch with her. She's fantastic. So she's going to look at um, what's happening in the stars and how they're going to affect you. So whatever your sign is, your sun sign, your rising, your Mercury, your moon, all of those most important placements will be affected. Um, so be sure to come by Thursday. That'll be 1 p.m. Eastern time because she's also in the east and we'll get a chance we'll get a chance to talk about that and she'll answer your questions as well as it pertains to who you are. So that'll be fun. 
Um, you know, isn't it interesting? And that's the first thing I'm going to take a look at is I'm using the Modern Witch, by the way. Hopefully you can see that. The Modern Witch, which is made in the uh, the uh, image of the Rider Waite Smith deck, which a lot of decks are. Um, but anyway, um, what's interesting to me is how are these Republicans doing it? And what I mean is you keep hearing about these Republicans that are talking about the the uh, vax is no good and it's going to turn you into an AI or, uh, you know, you got a magnet in you or it's going to stop your reproductive processes. And the stories get crazy and crazier every time you take them. Amazingly, though, somebody gave them a vaccine, you know, when they were young, multiple MMR and, and you know, all those vaccines we had to take when we were kids. Uh, in order to be safe, in order to enter to school, in schools. And now there's so much misinformation. And yet those very same people who are saying, don't get it, it's going to do something to you, yada, 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 are keeling over left and right. They're getting the COVID and losing their lives, losing their lives. I mean, seriously, off of misinformation and then they're coming back at the end of their their days and warning people go ahead and take the vaccine so i want to just take a quick look at that and see are people going to uh, are these republicans going to start taking this vaccine these crazy trumpsters even trump when he went to Cullman, alabama told them to take the vaccine he acknowledged that he had taken it we already knew he took it Many of us who are on here and are doing readings on these these people, we, we told you. Of course they took it. All of them took it, including the Marjorie Taylor Greens and the rest of those fools. Um, will they begin to take the vaccine? Let's take a look. And then I'm going to look at Henry, too. There's a lot of feminine energy around them. So they're very emotional. Okay, I have Queen of Cups. They're very emotional. Hope you can see that. Very emotional about whether they should take it or not. There's so much, so much misinformation out there. I can imagine them being emotional about whether they should take it or not. Because most of our major decisions are not really based on inte intellect. It's based on our feelings. And so they're starting to get their self together, getting right. They're starting to listen and realize, you know what? We're, he's Trump is not swooping in on some eagle into office to save them. He's got the vaccine. People are dying. Um, podcasts, famous podcast hosts, uh, famous Trumpsters or what have you are actually dying from this. And they've decided this is the two of swords in reverse. It says that they have made this decision. They're not pondering anymore. They're making the decision and they're going out and they are getting it done. Yeah, this is the judgment card. This is a decision that they have made. The two of swords in reverse says, yes, they, they've decided. Yep, this is the right thing to do. And yes, they're looking at, I want to live. You know, I don't I want to I don't want to go in the grave <laughs> We can see these people rising up out of the grave. And that it's like the vaccine coming down saying, OK, I don't want to go in the grave. I want to live. I want to, you know, be able to work. I want to have nice things. I want to restore uh, a balance in my life. So, yeah, you're going to see more people taking the vaccine. You're still going to have some people that are going to hold out. Some people are still going to believe there's some you know, some myth around it, but they're still going to take it. I want to see really quick, is there going to be a booster? Will we have to take a booster? Um, I think I kind of saw that somewhere. <clears throat> Let me get these cards. Whoever's making cards, this card, although I love the cards, okay, this is the card. I love the card. The paper is such that, number one, it's a little bit too glossy and the cardboard isn't really the best, but it's a great deck of cards nonetheless. But you have to have cards that you can shuffle well. Um, will there be a booster? 
Will there be a booster shot? Who will be required to take a booster? Yeah, <laughs> we are going to have to take a booster. Here we have, this is like government is going to come in, government medical situations that are saying, you know what, if they're going to be advising, it would be best to make sure you are safe. We've done the research, we've done the studies, we've gone through like the hardship of it all because this is a five, so it means that they've gone through really the hardship of it and you can see the pillars next to her there's one here there's one here that speaks of the wisdom of this person this is usually like your professors your scientists your doctors your teachers um your government and they are going to be telling us you know what in order to defend yourself which is the nine of wands if you want to stay strong and you want to stay healthy you're going to probably have to um, take a booster shot and this is the seven of wands saying if you want to stay on top of your situation and be able to defend yourself against this vaccine you'll probably have to take a booster and by looking at the cards it really tells me that yeah because sevens always speak about there's an uplift okay we're uplifting in order to uplift ourselves physically right you're going to have to do a booster shot so there will be and probably this by this fall there'll be a booster and i don't know that'll be up to you if you're going to take it or not but there will be a booster but now think about this when you're when you have your baby they had to get vaccinated at the hospital and then you had to go in and get another vaccine and then you had to get one when they were like 15 months and then when they were two so yeah there'll probably be a booster to go along with that the other thing i want to look at is henry that is the hurricane that's hitting on the northeastern part of our country um i'll just take a look and see how that is doing uh, what's going on around that a lot of you guys are from that area a lot of you guys are bracing or have braced for it but this is that time of year when the weather gets the craziest. Yeah, it's definitely coming. So it's like I'm looking at it, it's the Knight of Wands. It is coming through with a swiftness it is it's going to do some damage it is going to do some damage they're going to people we have the six of pentacles that says it's going to really hurt a lot of people on a financial front it's going to do a lot of damage out there and then we have three of cups in reverse that people are going to be very unhappy obviously about it so yes it's going to hit it's going to put a lot of people like electricity out and Food and stuff is going to have to be thrown away. Damages in that perspective. Um, Wheel of Fortune says that this is meant to be. It's supposed to happen. Um, it's even <laughs> destined. And I think it's destined more so not from some mystical force, but it's the time of year for it. So it's destined. It's supposed to come. It is going to cost a lot of the country a lot of money. It is. Uh, a lot of people are going to lose property and things like that. And I hope that it's not none of you. I pray it's none of you. But it is coming. But balance will be restored. Balance will be restored. Some You may lose some life even. But ultimately, it's going to work out. Okay. But it is going to hit. That's without a doubt. I'm sorry to hear that for some people. Um, but it's going to be pretty nasty out there for a while. Okay, the last person I'm going to look at today is um, R. Kelly. Now, 
R. Kelly is a very famous R&B singer, right? And R. Kelly, I keep having to stop my video because if somebody walks by the house or if the someone dropped off a package, the dogs go bananas. So anyways, R. Kelly is a very famous R&B singer. You probably know him, a lot of people from uh, I Believe I Can Fly. That was one of his major hits, kind of crossover hits. But other people know him from a lot of different songs. He also, at one time, was married to the singer Aaliyah, who passed away in a plane crash, I might add. So he's on trial. Uh, they got him on trial for racketeering. Uh, um, um, oh, gosh, I can't think. There's a number of child. But um, sexual relations with underage ladies okay um there was a documentary on uh netflix surviving r kelly the whole bit so he's in new york he's got charges in new york he's got charges in chicago and i think in minnesota too this is the first of many trials so they're in day three or four starting today monday so i just want to see what's going to happen with r kelly in new york What's happening with R. Kelly in the New York trial? Um, yeah, there's so much that is coming out on um, how he was to these women, the rules that they had to live by in his house. They couldn't even go to the bathroom, even though the bathroom is in the room, their own room. They had the ensuite situation. He wouldn't even let them do that. They would have to get permission or they would have to use the bathroom in, you know, a bucket and stuff like that. I mean, all kinds of insane types of behavior, um, almost cultish. So yeah, that's crazy. But anyways, um, let's see what's going around with him. Oh, he's got the chariot in reverse. He didn't take care of his house and home the way he needed to. He never looked at himself, and even to this day, he's never looked at himself as, I'm guilty of anything. His whole situation is out of control, and he is going nowhere fast. They are working to defend him. We've got the Nine of Wands again that says that they are working to defend him, but he's done so much. This is almost, if you look at it, it's a female. This is almost indicative of... All the females that he tried to hurt along the way, um, there's multiple of women, by the way, um, and yet they're still standing to tell the tale. In fact, one of the ladies came into court, one of his concubines, I'm going to call it like that because I don't know what else to call it, came in. He did not expect him. He literally fainted in court when this person came in. Um, yeah, he's done for. He's done for. He should really be in this prayer and meditative state, right? But he really looks like he is losing a lot of sleep behind this. Everything is coming out. This is almost similar to the picture they showed of one of the young ladies in his estate. There was a camera that took a picture of her from uh, up above. And these people were, uh, a lot of them weren't even allowed to leave. They had to escape, you know, escape out of the house. But as for him, yeah, Ten of Swords, he's done. He's he's done. It's over for him. His career will never be the same again. The hermit card usually speaks of going within and, you know, learning from your mistakes. But these two together tell me he's going to be incarcerated. He will be found guilty in New York. And yet he still got to go to another trial in Chicago. He still got to go to Minnesota for another trial. So it is only the beginning it's only the beginning for this guy. I have no sympathy for this person. Um, he took advantage and he used his stardom in the wrong way. He, he threw his whole legacy away um, off of sexuality and perversion and things like that. And because he could, it was a point of, I have the power. And a lot of times these situations are about power and control and this situation was no different than any other. But I have the power. These people will do what I say. And some of the things that he had them do and experience were just 
horrific. Absolutely. It's like a horror show to me when you think about it. I um, just want to take one more look at him. Uh, yeah. And it's the lovers in reverse. Lovers reverse. Yeah, he's done. These people are not dealing with him anymore. Everything he was doing was very perverted. Mm-hmm. And in fact, um, they're not even playing his music anymore. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the five of, there you go, five of pentacles. Yeah, he's struggling financially. He's out in the cold. Radios are not playing his music anymore. Um, he's not making a dime. Yeah, so he's out of, he's out of his element. He's out of control. He's off, he's out of, uh, I guess, society's consciousness. And yet... And yet, there's still women out in front of the courthouse protesting in his favor and saying to free R. Kelly. And I can't even imagine as a woman that you would say that. And then you've got some, and these are women that are blaming the victims. And these were young girls. These were not grown women who could make a clear decision. These women that are saying that are so confused because when you're a young girl, your lobes are not really fully developed. Your frontal lobes are not developed, and you're not able to say, how can this affect me long term? These were childish, you know, I'm a super fan of this person and, you know, doing things that you don't expect to do because you love this person. Or, you know, or you think you're in love with this person. Yeah. So he's got the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Karma has come for him. It's time for him to pay the piper, which is funny because he had the pie. That he was, that's his thing. It was the pie piper they used to call him. Um, eight of cups in reverse. He's not learning anything. He's not learning a doggone thing. He feels like he did nothing wrong and it's all their fault. Not realizing that you're blaming the victims. You're not growing. You're not ascending. You're stuck and you're done and things are in reverse for you in the worst possible way. So that's what I have on him. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to stop by and visit, let you know I'm still here. I still love you. And um, I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to turn in to tune in Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern to see Andrea Lilac Lantern. And then Thursday at 1 p.m. to see Colleen Schmidt. And she is the astrologer. Let's see what's happening for you for the month of September. Have a great day, guys. Bye now.